All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I wanna talk about Find Shortest Path in Houdini. You can create these really amazing effects that Panably did in their Mercedes-Benz uh, video. It's kind of like this kind of grid <laughs> chip kind of like system. I don't really know how to describe it. And it can either be more linear, like straightforward, or more curved, like this one. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. So in Houdini, let's drop down some geometry. So maybe let's start with a grid. Eventually this will work with any type of geometry, but let's get started with this. So first let me demonstrate the basic way how it works, and then we can make it a little bit more interesting. So basically we need to define a starting point and an ending point. And then Houdini will look for the shortest path from one point to another. So let's lay down a group and this can be start, start. Let's lay down another group, uh, group, and this can be end. And then let's append a find shortest path node. So the starting point is start, the ending point is end. And what you now get is these lines from the start to the ending point, quite straightforward. So the way you can make this interesting is by having more interesting geometry, first of all. So let's go back to our grid. And instead of having a grid like this with very few points, we can change it to something with a bit more resolution. So let's do 50 by 50. And we can go with alternating triangles. So you basically give Houdini a couple more options to draw a path from. And we probably messed up our start and end. We only missed, messed up our end. So let's change this by hitting the arrow button. And let's set it to that again, hit enter. And now we get a straight line. And that makes a lot of sense because the shortest path from that point to that point is that line. Let's make this whole composition a bit more interesting. So let's set a starting point to a bounding box. And let's grab a few points in the middle. So we get this network schematics kind of thing. And the ending point, so instead of having just one point in the end like this, we can use a group expression. And in this group expression, we can use this little expression snippet that says 30% chance. So now, and let's set it to points. So now 30% of all the points in our geometry can be picked. I think maybe we should have something a bit lower, like 005, but that, that's up to you, kind of what you're going for. And we need to call this group end. Let's delete this one and call it end. And then highlight it and in the group name, give it $OS. So it names it to whatever we type here. And then let's highlight shortest path. And what you can now see is we only have a few lines. And the reason for this is we need to set it from any start to each end. So each end is getting connected to a starting point. And what you can see now is we're getting a lot more interesting geometry. We're getting these kind of like, I don't know, to me it looks like a chip kind of like a schematic. And we can up the resolution a bit more now. And yeah, now we get even something more interesting. The thing is, it looks very linear, um, which makes sense because everything just looks for the shortest path without any kind of disruption or noise into it. And the way we can actually introduce some disruption into this composition is by introducing a cost attribute. So let's create an attribute noise. Attribute randomize will work as well, but I think working with noises is a bit nicer. We call this cost. It's a float attribute. And in the shortest path, we want to enable the point cost attribute in the path cost. So type in cost here. And now you can see we get a lot more like interesting randomized patterns. And now you can really start to play with these values. So you can make them smaller. You can make like bigger noises. So then you can see they're a bit more uniformly distributed. And you can make them even bigger. You can make them really small. But this allows for some in more interesting type of distribution. From here, kind of like you can do a lot. You can attach this to a particle network and let points move over these schematics. You can also attach a sweep nerve and generate some geometry out of it. Uh, let's attach it to here and say maybe like a round tube, 
make it a lot smaller, maybe even like that. And now you have some proper geo on it. And another thing what you can do as well is smooth these lines out. So now you can see we get something that's a lot more organic. So that's, that's an option as well. You can also do for each loop and then start subdividing these triangles and smaller triangles. So you can get some areas that are very high resolution and some that are less high, less res resolution. So therefore you can get even more variation into this kind of setup. But yeah, that, that's it for now. Very easy trick, but it can yield some very beautiful results. You can swap this out as well on different geometry. So now we have a sphere, for example, and we just need to update our, our starting group <laughs> and to a smaller size and maybe something like here. So let's start from these points. And now you can see everything still works. So it's a very flexible setup. And yeah, you can use it for any type of work. So just a quick tutorial. Hopefully it's useful to everyone. And let me know if you create some cool work out of this. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.